Okay, so we've got the ag camera working. If you see on the left here, we got the green tiff, the near infrared, the red, and the red edge it's from the drone. It also clicks RGB at the same time. So uh, we take a look at the green. Uh, the FL means I floated it, you know, turned it into 32 bit floating point. And that's what it looks like. It's a local park. The near infrared is always the most interesting, right? So we'll take a look at that. You usually get a nice water boundary, and there's that water boundary to the north there. Okay, a uh, little lake here. It's just when it rains, just a rain lake fills up. Uh, and there you go. There's a, just looking at infrared. That's the swimming pool. It's empty at the moment in a local park. So. Uh, there's the cabin, so I'm looking good. Uh, look at the properties, and we'll see that it's it's in UTM zone 18, so the resolution is just about 12 centimeters, uh, so that's pretty cool. So I made the NDVI from those for the park. There's the NDVI. You might follow a road like that and think, hey, look, why does that road not stay red? But when you zoom in, it really is. Fact, look, there's the speed bumps. There's my car, actually. Okay, so looking good. Same here. I know there's, I know there's uh, buildings in a swimming pool here. Buildings in a swimming pool. So zoom in, and sure enough, they jump right out at you. That's the swimming pool. That's the gazebo. That's the parking lot, actually. And there's the little grass separators within the parking lot. I like the way the line spaces have a different NDVI value than the tarmac, the white lines. Okay, and they're the roofs of the buildings. That's a swimming pool, but it's empty. This is a very waterlogged on the day I was out there. So you end up with areas like this where the water was gathering. So that was pretty cool that that picked out. Obviously, you get a real nice water boundary with NDVI. There's a dock, boat launch, that kind of stuff. Okay, there's all our trees, 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 nice green trees. So we know which are the year round green trees. You really have to zoom in when you one of the big difference with the drone is you don't see anything overall. You really have to zoom in to get some of the higher values. It's like a bit of seagrass out there. So uh, uh, as you see, the range is minus one to one. So it came out perfect range. It's a little hut for the ospreys. Uh, and let's get, zoom in on where they go camping here. There you go. There's the pads that they park the SUVs on and that kind of stuff. So, and a, a very waterlogged. That's why you have all this red. It's been raining a lot here. So that's what I've been doing with my time of late. Uh, we now have the full ag working, uh, the full ag capabilities of the drone working. Uh, and it also does collect RGB at the same time. If you so desire, uh, I'll drape this on top of an RGB and send you the link. Ciao.